Now at 11, a scuffle between two homeless men nearly turns into a fight to the death. Good evening, I'm Brenda McLaughlin. And I'm Wendy Ryan. First tonight, our Chris Trankman spoke to the man who put his own life on the line to end the uneven match. He joins us now live in Tarpon Springs with this story. Chris? Well, Wendy, it happened in the parking lot of the Easy Stop and Shop convenience store right in front of this ice freezer. And the witness I talked to say it was a cold-blooded attack. It sounded like someone thumping on a tree with a stick. When Marcus Tucker looked up, he saw a man with a three-foot axe handle beating another person in the head. And he can't forget the noise. Then he hit him again, and it still sounded like he hit him so hard, it sounded like someone was thumping. Someone hit a stick up against a tree. That's how loud it was. Tucker yelled at the suspect, 49-year-old James Knott, and chased him through some woods and trapped him behind a bank. That's where deputies arrested him. But 55-year-old Brian Kennedy was seriously injured. A lot of blood everywhere. And then uh, he was trying to get up, and it was just profusely coming out of his head, so I was forced to hold his head down. Don King says the victim, known as Buzz, is a regular in the area, a homeless man down on his luck. Oh, I got nothing but heart for Buzz. I do feel bad for Buzz. He, he's a good guy. You know, he runs his mouth, but yeah, everybody runs their mouth. As for Tucker, he says he didn't have to get involved, but couldn't help himself. This is not a vigilante society. We have laws here in the United States. Let's follow them. But you weren't going to sit there and let that guy get away? No, I couldn't do that. It's not within me to do that. Now, investigators believe that alcohol played a role in this incident. Kennedy is at the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Meanwhile, Knott was taken to jail. He's charged with attempted murder. We're live in Tarpon Springs. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.